What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the Fans Toys Spin Drift, their version of a Masterpiece Sea Spray. So I bought mine from Toy Dojo, my channel partner. You can click the link in the description below to find him there as well. This was sent to me by uh, Pig for Life. He works for them on the East Coast. He ships things out. So thanks for getting this to me so quickly. Really appreciate that. Um, but first of all, let's take a look at some of the packaging. I always take a look at these boxes because I love the artwork on the Fans Toys boxes. I, Johannes Vinci, he goes on DeviantArt by Welljack. You can take a look at his artwork, but he does a really good job on the artwork on these. Always really nicely done. You also get a collector's card, which is a render here on the front, and then the figure on the back, and then his tech specs, and a bio there. Pretty long bio. I need to go back and read all these bios from all these characters. There you go for that. And then you also get an instruction booklet. I never usually go over these, but in this particular case, it's actually a really good instruction book. It's complete. It's got all the steps. Uh, it's easy to follow. I didn't have any problems. So you can use this to transform it. Or if you don't like that, you can prefer, you can use my video to transform it. I'll show you how to transform it. And uh, it's not too bad at all. You also get some accessories, so one of the first things I want to talk about is out of the box, there's a couple things you have to do. So first off, you want to flip this panel here, it's just folded down, you can just push right here, it allows you to flip that over, and then you got the chest kind of filled up. There's a little bit of gap here, I don't really mind, I think it looks okay. Uh, but the other thing is the head. So if you look at the box, you'll see this head looks a bit different than the head he has. And it's hard to tell on the camera, but this one's a little bit thinner in the front. And it's more rounded, whereas this one's more squared off. You can see it's kind of like squarish. Uh, so I don't know if that's misassembly or just a choice, but you can switch them. I prefer the more rounded head. So here's the rounded head. And you can just take this apart. So I'll show you how to do that. First, take off the screw. And just make sure you don't lose that screw. Turn the head to the side so it's 90 degrees, and then you can access the little, this little crack here. You can either use a fingernail or you can get a spudger and just split it apart. And let me just bring them up close so you can see the difference. So you can see this one's a little bit more rounded. Whereas this one's more square. So Basically take the screw out of this one, which I've already done. Go ahead and pop this apart. It might be stuck together with paint, so you might have to use a prying tool like a spudger. Go ahead and take the face out. Take the other face, stick that in the front, and then put that back on here. And again, this is your preference, so whichever you like, you prefer, you can do that. Uh, there it is with the round head. I think that looks a lot better. So I would recommend you do that if you want this more cartoon accurate looking head. This one is more the toy head. It's got that squarish look and it's got the visor without the eyes in it. But there you go for that. He also comes with two guns. They are painted fully with this gray. Nicely sculpted. They look good. And these fit in just like every Masterpiece figure. You basically have a tab, just push it in like that, and there you go. And he has a second one as well. Um, there isn't really a space to put it, like if you want to store it on his body somewhere. There, there's not really a spot. I guess you could kind of stick it in here or whatever, but there's really no official place to like kind of stick it. You could kind of cheat and put it here on the side, which is where it ends up going in the in the uh, vehicle mode. But then it kind of sticks out, so it's not really a good spot. But either way, there's his weapon. Let's get in on the details on this guy. He looks really nice. You got those nice metallic eyes on that flat gray background on the mask. So that just really makes the eyes pop. It almost looks like it's lit up, but it's really just reflecting. You have a nice yellow paint all the way down here. White paint for this entire body section, fully painted. The arms are fully painted in that blue. The legs are painted in this yellow paint. This upper thigh is more of a metallic paint. You can see there's a little bit of a sheen to it. Whereas this is a more flat yellow. Looks good. 
Then you have blue for the feet, and then the translucent plastic here. Pretty much 100% fully painted, and then you have some yellow paint here on the back, which really is for the vehicle mode. These are painted as well, it's this metallic gray or maybe a gunmetal gray. Let's go over the articulation on spin drift. So the head is on a ball joint, so it goes down to there, up to there, and rotates all the way around. Uh, you have to remember to put the screw back, I don't know if I showed you that, but you do have to put the screw back in the head. Um, and that'll tighten it up a little bit. You can take this whole section here and go down, so if you wanted to get it further down, you can get them looking down a little bit more just by bending this. So that's nice that you can do that. Shoulders rotate all the way around on this joint here. This does remind me of the kind of the Toy World version, and I don't have that unfortunately, but it did have a similar type of joint. But it goes up to there like that. You have a rotation at the elbow. It goes all the way around. You have a 90 degree bend at the elbow. Again, they've been doing 90 degree and non-double jointed on these on these joints. I'm not really sure why, but that's what you get. And then for the hand, uh, no rotation. Well, I guess you get a little rotation. It, it does collide with this, but you get a little bit of rotation out. And then you can open up the fingers and single pin. So all the fingers move together. All of their mini bots have been kind of like that, so that was to be expected. Um, but it is a little bit hindered on that wrist swivel. You have a rotation at the waist. It is a little bit hindered by its own body. So these tabs kind of get in the way of rotating it all the way. But you can rotate it. Just uh, tends to get stuck up. You do want to put a Autobot logo here. I think there's just way too much white. It'd be nice with that nice red Autobot logo. I just wanted to show you what it looked like without the logo, so I haven't put mine on yet, but definitely naked without that. He needs that for sure. Uh, but it goes right here. This panel actually flips in, so we'll, I'll talk about that more when we transform, but you can flip that panel inwards for transformation. Continuing downwards, you have the legs on a nice ratchet joint. This is the first time I've seen ratchet joints on a mini bot like this. That's pretty cool. Goes back to there on a ratchet, out to the side on friction. Just be careful going up here, you don't want to scratch the plastic or the uh, paint up here. Rotation at the thigh. Pretty nice rotation as well. These are really nice, robust joints. I like those. You get a ratchet joint at the knee as well, you get 90 degrees, a little bit over 90. You get a ankle pivot back and forth, so it was up to there and then. Going backwards, you use a different joint, but it goes back to there, both ways. There is a screw here, so if it does start getting loose, you do want to tighten that screw. Um, it also interacts with this piece here, which is meant for the uh, vehicle mode. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But whether you tighten or loosen this, you do want it a little bit loose because you need to open up this panel. You also get an ankle tilt out to there, and you can't extend it, you get a little bit, but that way a little bit, that way a little bit. So. And there is Spindrift with some other mini bots. We've got Final Victory Huffer and the Fans Toys Warpath. And then in the back here we've got Transform Elements Optimus Prime. And I think it looks really good. It's a good size, a little bit shorter than some of these uh, mini bots, but then not as short as, let's say, Cliff Jumper here. He's taller than him. So still fits in well with the other third-party and official Masterpiece figures. There is Spindrift next to the x Transbots version of Sea Spray, Neptune. And they both look pretty good. Um, I'm going to be doing a full comparison on these two, so I'm not going to dive into detail here. I just want to show you them. Here are the backs. Definitely different uh, looks and dimensions. So let's get this guy oh. transformed into his vehicle mode. And pretty fun and easy transformation. And I kind of enjoyed going back and forth with this guy. So I like to start with the arms. So go ahead, come to the back here, open up these panels. That allow you to flip this entire panel down. Make sure his hand is closed, otherwise you're going to collide with it. And then close that back up. Rotate the arm so that the shape is consistent, and then push it in. You're going to collapse it down on the elbow. So it should be one long piece like that. So same on this side, I'll do a little bit faster this time. Open up this panel. Flip this down, make sure the hand is closed, close that up, rotate it, and collapse it. Now that we have those arms, you can just kind of get those rotated up and out of the way to give yourself some room to work. Go ahead and take this panel, because we know we're not going to need that, and flip that down. 
and I'll take care of the feet. So go ahead and come down here. Now some people are having issues where these panels pop off when you lift them up. If you are, it's probably because this screw is too tight. So if you loosen up that screw just a hair, I'm talking like a sixteenth of an inch, eighth of an inch, eighth of a turn, then it should allow this to pop up without coming off that joint. It is a ball joint, and you can see they did design it with a slot there with a hole. So I think they initially were planning to use a pin, but they ended up using a ball joint. You can see there's a ball inside there. So it does pop off that ball joint. Not a big deal, you can just pop it right back on, but you do have to just be wary of that. And if it does keep popping off, just loosen up that screw. That'll give it a little bit of play. All right, so fold that to the front like this. Come down here, fold out the side piece there. You take this entire foot and rotate it all the way around until you get the blue piece on the top like this. And then his leg kind of flush against the back like that. All right, now come back to the bottom here. You can open up this panel here. Rotate this back around, and this is going to peg into the front now. Make the front of the hovercraft. Which looks pretty cool. And then take this, and that's going to peg into the side. And that's pretty much one side done. So go ahead and do the other side. So come over here. Open up this panel. Rotate to the front. Flip this around. Open that up. Fold this all the way around until it comes flush. Fold this back around. And then close up this panel so it sits flush. And then take both legs and peg them together. Make sure you have this centered. Now right, we're done with the legs. We're going to take care of this backpack. So we have to do a little bit of adjustment here. So you're going to open up this chest, pull it away from the waist. And you might have a really hard time doing that at first. So I suggest you take a spudger and work your way around and kind of pop that up. It's going to be kind of tight because of all the paint in there. Now that I've done it a couple times, it's fine. It's not tight anymore. Go ahead and come to the back here. Unpeg this from here. Go ahead and take this panel here and slide that down on this piece here. Open this up and then that'll allow you to rotate this to the front. Open up this panel here, open up this, and then underneath here there are two panels. You might need a spudger to get in here, but you could probably do it with your finger. And then you open that up, that'll allow you to put this back in. So you're basically going to collapse this back down so that it's flush, like that. All right. All right, next we're going to take these arms and get them pegged in here on the sides. So there's a slot there, and you can see there's a tab on the side of the arm. So go ahead and get that pegged in. And then same on this side, get that pegged in. And you can see there's a little tab here that's going to fit together. Those don't really hold together. It's, it's actually this piece that's going to hold that down. So go ahead and get this folded down. That's going to peg in right here on this tab. So get that pressed in. Now you can fold these down, and this is really what's going to hold together the arm to the bottom. That's what's going to like sort of press them together. All right, same on this side. Go ahead and take this. Just make sure you have it lined up, and then press this panel in, and that's going to help it hold together. I mean, you can also compress it like this to give it, you know, a little help, but. It's really these panels that are holding it together. All right, next you're going to take these panels here. You're going to open this up, and it's going to accordion down and peg into the front, just like that. Same on this side. Open this up, push it, angle it down, and then push it in, like so. Now take this panel, fold it up. It's going to click into there, then close up these panels here. And the finish you touch, go ahead and fold this, and his head's going to hide inside that piece there. Just make sure it's straight. And there we have spin drift in his vehicle mode, and it is really quite beautiful. It does have four wheels, There's two black ones here, two white ones here. Pretty cool that they painted a white just so it wouldn't show up. Didn't need to do that, but they did. It does roll really nicely. It's nice and heavy. Um, so it, because of the weight, it rolls really nicely. 
Really good G1 look there. In fact, let's just put the G1 cartoon while we're doing this. And you can see he really has got nailed that look from the cartoon. Here's the back. You do see the head a little bit. It's not horrible. It kind of it hides with the rest of the yellow here, but you can see the back of the head. These do spin, so if you want to spin them, you can. They don't spin like very freely, but they do spin. There are some features on this guy, so you can open up these panels here, and the guns can peg in. You can see there's a slot right inside there. So the, the tab on the handle is going to fit into there, and then you can close this up. And that holds the gun on there. And there you go, there are the guns mounted on the side. They are a little bit on the loose side. I think it's mostly because it's hard to fit it in perfectly on an angle in there. Uh, but you can take those out. You can also put them up here. These two panels are a little bit harder to open, so you do need a spudger or a tool. I recommend a plastic tool. And basically you're going to push from the bottom. So you come down here and you're going to push right on that panel. You get that just popped up and open that up. Same on the other side. So there it is with the second one open. I had to do that off camera. It was a little bit too tight. And you stick the other gun in there. And now we can drive around. I think that's actually the best look for him. Is both guns mounted on the front. That looks really nice. Let's just get another detail. You get some nice translucent glass blue here. That looks good. You got the yellow on the top, the iconic with some fan blades there. That looks good. Here's the top. Here's where you can switch this. So if you don't want the Autobot logo, I don't have an Autobot logo on here, but if you don't want it, you just basically flip this around and you could hide the, the logo if it was on that side. And for size comparison, there is Spin Drift next to the Fans Toys Hunk, Fans Toys. Dune Runner and the MP10 Optimus Prime and it looks really good. I like the size overall. Not too small, not too big. I think their first one was a little too small but fits in really well with other bots and still is scaled well in the robot mode which I would like I like it to be small so it all looks makes sense to me and looks good. All right now let's get Sea Spirit Transform back into robot mode. Normally I don't do transformation both ways, but this one is kind of fun and it's not going to take too long. So go ahead and take the head and we're going to rotate that back so it's straight. Take this panel and open up these here and that'll allow you to unpeg that. You're also going to rotate down here. That's going to free up this peg here so you can lift this up. I like to take this up and then bend it forward to release these two white pieces. That seems to be the easiest way. Otherwise, it's really hard to get these out. But go ahead and fold these back in to his chest. Fold these panels up onto the side. Um, just leave this up like that for now. Go ahead and unpeg the arms from his sides. Get those all the way up. And we gotta lift up his chest here. And I mentioned earlier, you might wanna use a spudger the first few times because it might be a little tight. Go ahead and pull this down on this, slide it down on that joint, rotate around and we can close his chest back up. Take this panel and that's just going to peg into his back. Come to the front here, take these panels, fold these in, fold this under in and then that's going to fit into his chest just like that. We'll come down to the legs here. So for the legs we can open up and separate these feet. Take this panel, unpeg that if it's not unpegged already, fold this down, take this foot, and again you're going to rotate the other way around so you end up with this blue panel on the back of his uh, calf, just like that. Sometimes this panel doesn't close, so just close that panel if it didn't close on its own. And like I mentioned, that screw might be loose now that you've transformed it, but go ahead and rotate this in to the cavity, rotate this around, and then peg in the foot. See so on this side. So now I've, I've made a mistake here so I can point this out. Make sure you push this all the way back and it pegs into here. If you peg it into the front you'll have an uneven foot. His front will be a little bit higher than the back. So unpeg this. Make sure you have it pegged all the way in the back like that. Right? And that'll give him a better flat foot. Come to the arms here. Pull them out if they're not already out. You can fold this in just a bit, that'll pop this up and then open up that panel. 
then close this up and close up that panel. Rotate the elbow to the front. Same on this side. Then finally take this panel and flip that around to the top. So final thoughts on spin drift. Let's start with the positives. I think the paint and the sculpt and the overall look is really nice in both modes. Both the vehicle mode and the robot mode just end up looking perfectly like the cartoon and just overall have a good blend of you know being like the cartoon but also having a little bit of you know maturity to it to make it look more menacing like he's got a little bit of a menacing look but he also is kind of cute you know so i like that uh, there's good accessories you get the head and the two guns i like that he has two guns versus one a uh, little bit limited on the accessories we'll talk a little bit more when we do the verses with the x transbots neptune but enough for me personally and uh, overall they fit in well and they look good. Negatives wise, there is this little thing with the foot. It's more of an irritant than an issue, but this screw tends to loosen after transformations. So you just have to tighten it. It's not a big deal, just tighten that screw. Also this panel, some people are popping that off and the main reason is this screw is too tight. So when it's going to bend it, it basically just pulls off the, the ball joint. So just loosen that, loosen that screw just a tiny bit and you won't have that problem. But other than those two very minor issues, uh, there's a little bit of limitation on his elbow and his knee in terms of articulation. But I absolutely think I think this figure looks great. I love it. Um, he is a great masterpiece C spray. Highly recommend it. Uh, other than those minor issues, it's a, it's a knockout figure for fans' toys once again. So that's really it for today. Stay tuned for my Versus video with the x Transbots Neptune that'll be coming out later this week. That's it. If you're interested in picking up this figure, you can get it from Toy Dojo, which is linked in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.